you can see the storm already starting to move in. Let's go to Robert Richardson now in Cumberland County. And Robert, you're at the Emergency Operations Center. So don't worry about it. Yes, we are here in Fayetteville at City Hall at the municipal building, and they're keeping track of the shelters. We've got notes on the board about how many people are at the shelters as of about 10 a.m., almost 200. They have space for more than 1,200. Now, this is the City Communications Center here in the city of Fayetteville. It's the first time that they've done something like this in addition to the county's emergency operations center. We've had the police chief in here earlier today, the fire chiefs in here currently, people from parks and rec roads city manager's office if you look over on that wall over there they've got a couple of uh they are dealing with a, just an ongoing situation we don't know how many days this is going to last uh, they're trying to get a projection on when the storm is actually going to hit they're expecting double digit inches of rainfall we're going to be speaking with the city manager later in the half hour to try and get an update on where things stand and what are some of the problem spots that they're looking ahead looking at ahead of the storm some places that have flooded before is just unparalleled rain could be coming. We'll keep you updated here on CBS 17. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News. And we've said it before, mm -hmm. we would venture to guess, Robert, that a lot of these people who did not evacuate last time will, who they're, went through Matthew. They're probably heeding that warning. All right, let's yep. go now to meteorologist Kristen Ketchel in Wilmington. And Kristen, you've already started feeling the effects of those outer bands of Florence. Absolutely. Tonight in Rest, we had some pretty heavy rain falling just a few moments ago. That one band moved through. Now we're back to just dealing with the pretty intense wind. The wind has actually been picking up here all day today, and that is likely going to be the case here as we head through the next several hours. Some tropical storm force wind gusts and also hurricane force wind gusts still in the forecast for later. We are standing right now in Wilmington on the intercoastal waterway, and this actually separates Wrightsville Beach and Wilmington. So Wrightsville Beach is really what you're looking at toward Wrightsville Beach right now. Now you can see a high rise hotel and the shot there also a water tower. That's all Wrightsville Beach. So we're less than a mile from the ocean front and we're already seeing some high water on the intercoastal waterway. A lot of locals here did tell me that the tide was a lot higher than normal already as Florence continues to kind of move offshore and inch its way closer inland here. So we've been dealing with a, a lot of that so far it hasn't uh, had any issues on any roads or anything around the area just yet. But I did want to mention the bridge to get onto Wrightsville Beach. It is actually closed and it has been closed since last night. So that's the bridge that's down this way directly over my shoulder to my right here. And that closed when they issued that mandatory evacuation order between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. last night. So officials issued that order. That bridge now shut down until through the foreseeable future. There are police officers blocking the bridge. So if you were on Wrightsville Beach when that bridge was closed, you're stuck on Wrightsville Beach. If you were on Wilming in Wilmington, you are stuck in Wilmington until the storm passes and it's deemed safe to cross again. So we're uh, standing on a dock here in the, in, on the intercoastal waterway. A business owner here uh, thankfully let us seek some shelter under his covered deck there. So a lot of people here are getting prepared for the worst. They said they're hoping for the best. They're preparing for the worst. Businesses, homes all boarded up, not only on Wrightsville Beach near the oceanfront, but also in Wilmington, in downtown Wilmington, even in Leland. Some low-lying areas have been evacuated. And these are areas that are several miles inland. So businesses, homes all boarded up. There's sandbags in front of a lot of homes as well. People trying to prevent the potentially catastrophic historic flooding from impacting their home and their business businesses here over the next several days. So we are keeping a very close eye on the situation as it continues to develop here in, in Wrightsville Beach and in Wilmington. We are still waiting on more of those outer rain bands to arrive, but we are anticipating in some spots upwards of 20 inches of rain, which would be a historic rain event for folks here on the North Carolina coast. So we'll uh, keep monitoring the situation as we go through the rest of the day for now live in Wilmington. I'm storm team meteorologist Kristen Ketchel, CBS 17 News. All right.